But first, over 40% of low income adults in communities of color have untreated tooth decay, which can lead to other serious health problems. I spoke with Dr. Lee Kirkendall, a board member and volunteer dentist with Revive Dental about their new office here in Chattanooga. Welcome, I am joined by Dr. Lee Kirkendall and we are talking about Revive Dental and this is a low cost community dental center coming to our area. For people who aren't familiar with this, hearing for this, hearing about this for the first time, tell me about Revive Dental. So Revive Dental is a low cost dental option for people who do not have insurance. Um, there are many people without dental insurance. And so Tennessee is one of three states where Medicaid has no benefit for adults. So adults who have an abscess tooth or need a dental extraction or things like that cannot have, they just don't have options sometimes. So we have a low cost benefit for just members of the community. Um, and then we also have a tiered pricing. If a nonprofit organization that we partner with sends a patient, they get a discount. And if a, um, an organization that's a live-in recovery program some type of live-in program, they even get a further discount. So what we're trying to do is meet the needs of people who really cannot afford traditional dental care. For example, um, someone went, a patient last week had gone to the, um, had gone to a clinic and gotten an x-ray and they said, you need to see an oral surgeon. And they called the oral surgery office and they said, it's gonna be $3,000. So. Just, yeah, so he, so we just took out the one tooth that was really hurting, you know, for $65. So if you have dental insurance, we have great dentists in Chattanooga and we want you to go see them. This is for people who are, do not have another option. And we're going to, you know, we want to be able to do extractions, even fillings and dentures and partials and things like that. We want people to have their smile restored. And we know that people just don't have an option a lot of times. And dental, that's one of the things too, and you just said that, and that was what I was going to piggyback off. When it comes to dental care, there really is a lack of ac access uh, for people in certain communities and in for low-income communities. And you talk about, it's not just about, of course, that's the big thing. We all want to be able to smile and have that confidence. Um, and when you have dental problems, you just can't do that. But on a more, uh, even bigger than that is that the health risk, um, there's a lot of problems and a lot of things that uh, dental problems can lead to other health issues if it's not corrected. Exactly. So another patient we saw last week I had seen the week before and her face was starting to swell. I think she would have been in an emergency room last weekend, but we gave her antibiotics, the swelling went down and we were able to take out her two abscess teeth. But um, that's another thing is that people end up going to the emergency room. So when your face swells or you're in severe pain, people go to the emergency room, which is first of all, clogging up the emergency room system and then they get antibiotics, but the tooth is usually not treated. So they might get antibiotics and the swelling goes down, but then the, the problem is still there. So that's one thing we want to do also is keep patients out of the emergency room that just need some dental care. Um, and it can be, you know, when you start have, having swelling in your face and neck, that can be life-threatening. And plus a lot of people with dental issues just have chronic infection going on that their body is having to fight. So we just want to be there for people that really have no other option. And people are just so thankful. And they, they tell us we have no other option besides this place. So we really do need a little help to stay, you know, to keep going, but we feel like it's a great way to treat people in the city who don't have access to care. So is this just, just for adults or are we uh, for teenagers and adults or for all ages? Who uh, exactly is, is this for everyone or? So it's mostly for adults. Um, Medicaid does provide for 
children dental work. So they have an option. And so, but if a child has an abscess tooth or something like that, we will see them on a case by case basis, but it's mostly for um, teenagers and adults. And we've seen several people, the health departments recommended people. We've seen people in some recovery programs. So we're just getting the word out to nonprofits that we partner with like LifeSpring Medical, um, Clinica Medicos and other organizations. We want to partner with nonprofits so that they can refer people to us as well.